يا من هو الله الذي لا إله إلا هو الرحمن الرحيم الملك القدوس السلام المؤمن المهيمن العزيز الجبار المتكبر الخالق الباري المصور الغفار أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله Dearest beloved divine friends, family, brothers and sisters Welcome to another in electric mosques presentation of the teachings of Islam striving to bring Islam as a religion of peace respect for other religions and all humanity in Guyana and around the world. I wish to take the opportunity to, to say a special congratulations to the Commission of Police, uh, Brother Clifton Hicken, who has been reappointed as a Commissioner of Police, and also uh, to compliment the Commissioner of Police for all the wonderful system that he has created to create uh, an excellent nexus between peoples and police communication, discipline, and standard. So congratulations, Clifton Hicken, Commissioner of Police. Whilst extensions are not always that nice to those who are looking forward for promotion, well, the powers that be obviously would have their reason. Now, today, on the Electric Mosque's presentation of the teachings of Islam, I want to deal on chapter 43 of the Holy Glory and Glorious Quran. It might take more than one part. So it might be part one, and then we might do part two. I want to give you an introduction as to why this chapter, gold, is of importance in Islam. And it's chapter 43, Zukruf. Zuk, Ruf, Zuk, Zuk, Ruf. Revealed in Mecca, is the seventh edition, with 89 verses. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. This is the fourth chapter of the Hamim group and is named Gold from the mention of Zukrul in verse 35, where it is stated that gold and silver and worldly embellishments, where it is stated not gold and silver and worldly embellishments but righteous deeds that are acceptable to God. In fact, these are the things which keep men away from the truth, gold and silver. For, for the date of relev relevant, we should go to chapter 40. My friends and families, many religions, people like to pack gold on top of their God. Uh, the Makans, the idolaters, Meccans, that all idolatry, idolatry, and even in some parts of India, some people who claim they are God and people look up to them of God, they pack them with gold. And there are certain many temples where they have found billions and trillions of dollars in gold, and in history, many stolen by invaders coming from Turkey uh, and um, other lands, Greece, and also the worst was the British. Um, anyhow, we go on. So gold also the when when Christopher Columbus and then the Spanish and others came and they went into Peru, they destroyed the Aztecs, they took all the gold that they used to pack on their gods. And uh, Mexico, the Aztecs and the Mayans and so on. Pizarro and Cortez were the, the architects of the destruction of these people for their gold, which they were using for their religion. Uh, Spain today enjoy most of those gold that was stolen from the Americas. So gold and diamond and silver is not what God is looking for. He wants your devotion, your commitment, and some of your wealth in the form of zakah, 
to help the less fortunate and to help to build masjids and so on but no packing with gold having a masjid built with gold or silver or diamonds is not as good as having righteous leaders good and decent people who will come to the masjid and pray and those who will manage the affairs of the masjid you know also some people in a masjid that I uh, used to be associated or legally still is technically in which they're using it to make gold or wealth to put into their pockets I am ashamed to say a masjid with which I was associated that I keep a distance from because of the corruption and deceit in a masjid and they're using that money to fatten themselves and to buy cars and so on now that is a problem ladies and gentlemen that exists in, in places of religion now I keep on giving you an introduction to this because it's a very important and a very beautiful chapter the chapter opens with a de declaration of the revelation of the Holy Quran from Almighty God as do all the chapters of this group declaring Almighty God the reminder that is the Quran is not withheld from a people we are here told that account of their transgression because revelation comes to man as a favor from the merciful God uh, when man transgresses revelation come and a prophet will come to get them to adjust to the fact and is a mercy from the God the Creator Almighty Allah the second section is devoted to a condemnation of the various sorts of polytheism the third begins with a mention of Abraham the father of many nations are a chosen one of God begin and after referring to the prophets rejection answers to the objection as to why an influential man or a man of wealth was not chosen to convey the divine message so some people would ask God Almighty know what they say why was a, a big man a recognized man a rich man why would a poor man and next to nothing be chosen divine influential man was not chosen to convey the divine message it is in this connection that we are told that it is not the possession and pay important because this is the introduction ladies and gentlemen it is not the possession of gold and silver that make makes man great in the sight of God it is not wealth but God has a reason also why out of poverty he gives some people wealth to test them and just because wealth could be the worst of tests and to see whether they would use that wealth for the betterment of mankind for charity to help the unfortunate the poor and the needy so the gold and diamond is not something that uh, is valuable to God Almighty the fourth follows stating that the Quran will make the nation rise to real greatness and therefore those who being misled by evil companions deny it will regret their deeds who are not taught who have been taught and they deny and don't want to listen as the people of Noah didn't listen and all the people the people of Hud the people of Tamud the people all the way through the people of Abraham peace and blessings of Allah be upon them all the fifth shows how a powerful ruler like Pharaoh Pharaoh was destroyed when he refused to listen to the truth which was revealed to Moses by God and then revealed to him the mention of Moses is followed by a reference to Jesus in the sixth section Yeshua Yeshua is the right name as the politics of Arabia justify their idolatry by the Christian doctrine of the divinity of Jesus so when Muhammad peace and blessings of Allah brought the message of the one God they justify because they know about Jesus or they heard about him and he was divine his mother was a God and, uh, and and God had sired the God mother to make a God child or a God man the 
which is here rejected in this, in this chapter. The last section contrasts the fate of the two parties, the believers and the different believers. So friends and families, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we will be dealing with today in the form of not a kutbah, but a lecture to educate. May the peace and the mercies and the blessings of Allah be with one and all. And remember, this is the presentation of the Electric Mars teachings of Islam. Using the medium of electricity, the first to go on television in the world, the first to go on YouTube and even into Google. And then people couldn't understand what the Electric Mars was, ladies and gentlemen, until the COVID came. And he started to do sermons, presentation, even solar on electricity, television, through the phone and so on. So Allah had given me that wisdom to inspire the giants who had hated television, looked upon it, especially the people of the, my friends, the guy in Islamic Trust, they looked, up, looked, looked upon the, the and, and even the um, Darul Alums, uh, the Satan's Ladder, they would call the television uh, antenna, not understanding the greatness that Islam has and the science that Islam teaches and really is. Now let me go on. In the name of Allah, the beneficent and the merciful, revelation is a divine favor. I repeat, revelation is a divine favor. Beneficent God, by the book, that makes manifest. Surely we have made it in an Arabic Quran that you may understand. And it is in the original of the book with us, truly elevated, full of wisdom. So it was made into an Arabic Quran so Rasulullah, peace and blessings of Allah and his people could understand. And it is in the original of the book with us, truly elevated, full of wisdom. Now a secret in this verse, 4, as it is in the original of the book with us, truly elevated, full of wisdom. So sometimes we read like we're reading a newspaper or a magazine, but we have to analyze this meaning. The original, which is from the thought of Allah, revealed unto Rasulullah, which went into print. I'm, I'm giving it out now as I learn and understand. And it, the book with us, subhanahu wa ta'ala has the Quran, the original. And it's truly elevated, it is of high order because it is divine knowledge in the mind and the heart of God. And it is full of wisdom. All the thoughts, all the knowledge is in that Quran loaded and full. That's why the Quran cannot be destroyed. And it cannot be uh, anything. No one can reveal even a verse like unto it. Number five. Shall we then turn away the reminder from you altogether because you are a prodigal people? Subhanahu wa ta'ala is asking you, should I then um, 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 take away the Quran altogether? Because you, you don't deserve it. You're prodigal. You heard about the prodigal son. You're ungrateful. So you're prodig be a prodigal people not paying in tough attention to wisdom in the Quran. And we go on. And how many a prophet did we send among the ancients? And no prophet came to them, but they mocked him. Throughout history, mocked. prophets were always mocked. And we know about this from, from Noah. All the way through, prophets were always ridiculed. The people of Ad, the people of Tamud, Rasulullah, Muhammad, Yeshua, or Jesus, according to the English people, they, all, they were all mocked, threatened, beaten, with murder and hanging. And we go on. Then we destroy those stronger than these in, in prowess 
and the example of the ancients has gone before. And if thou ask them, who created the heavens and the earth? They would say the mighty, the knowing one has created them. They, they, they agree with that. Right? <clears throat> who made the earth a resting place for you? And made it ways for you that you may go straight. This is a philosophical, philosophical wisdom now. Put things in a way that is easy for you that you may follow the straight path. The Sirat al Mustaqeen, the path of the righteous. And who sends down water from the cloud according to a measure. Then we raise to life there by a dead land. Even so will you be brought forth. Tremendous wisdom and knowledge here, my divine friends and families. Tremendous. And think now. And who sends down the water from the cloud? According to a measure. Sometimes excess turns out to be a penalty. Sometimes because of man's interference, it is too much or too less, El Nino or La Nina. We raise the life there by a dead land. Even so will you be brought forth. So, even so, you will be brought forth. So when that water comes on a dry, dead land, after we have had La Nina or so, that water, where a man can take it from a creek or whatever, when it comes from the rain, the land rejuvenates, it quickens, it produces food and all kinds of amazing fruits and drink. And so the Quran, no, and then it goes on, Subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us through Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, and even so will you be brought forth. So even if you die and you're in a dead earth and you think you will not be, you will have to come forth. You will have to face the consequences of your deeds. And we go on to number 12. And who created pairs of all things? And who made for you ships and cattle that you may ride? So who is the creator of all things? He's asking. God Almighty is questioning us. And of course he gives us the answers. And made for you the ships and cattle that you ride. Who created the cattle, the camel, all the animals that we can ride? And the ships, he gave us the intelligence, the wisdom, the knowledge to use his creation to build ships. And I go on. That you may sit firm in their backs and remember the favor of your Lord when you are formally seated thereon. And say glory be to him who made this subservient to us. And we were not able to do it. So glory be to God who made these animals subservient to us when you sit upright and you feel beautiful and you're getting transportation. And we were not able to do it. I could not do it. We could not create the creatures or the animals. God Almighty, here now, after asking the questions, is tickling your imagination to think. To create wisdom and knowledge and understanding into our hearts. And surely to our Lord we must return. And now with all of that. Because with the ships and the cattle and the travel and the rains. We can develop wealth. Simple things. We can do agriculture. We can grow animals. We can develop wealth. But don't forget. Surely to our Lord we must return. And they assigned to him a part of, of his servants. Man, to be sure, is clearly ungrateful. And they assigned to him, capital H, Allah, a part of his servants. Man, to be sure, is clearly ungrateful. I think in this Quran, um, I need to give you the expression and thought of the translator, and in this case it's Maulana Muhammad Ali. I use several. I use Marmaduke Pictal, I use uh, the Quran of how, uh, Muhammad Yusuf Ali, in which they are translators. And this one that I'm having in my hand today is the one by Maulana Muhammad Ali. And 
it is saying that meaning of what I just gave, what I gave you that trans translation, his viewpoint. Attention is called here to the laws prevailing in the physical world to impress the need of similar laws in the spiritual world. So the laws prevailing in this world, its aim is to impress to our reality, our mentality, that there are similar laws in the spiritual world. As rain descending from the heaven, heaven quickens a dead earth, quickens, bring it to life with the heat, uh, earth, wind, and fire. And earth, wind, and fire, the wind comes as rain. So divine revelation would regenerate or raise the life people who sunk in ignorance and superstitions were spiritually, morally, and intellectually a dead people. So the Quran intention then is to wake these people who sunk into ignorance and superstition and were spiritually, morally, intellectually a dead people. Friends and family, ladies and gentlemen, they were a dead people. The Quran aim is to raise those people, and we know the Arabs to whom it came first, um, reached the highest stage of uh, science and civilization, creation of laws. And surely to our Lord we must return. And they assigned to him a part of his servants. Man, to be sure, is clearly ungrateful. His opinion on this 2240a, the reference here is to the Christian doctrine of assigning a son to God. And in the next verse, to the idolatrous doctrine of ascribing daughters to God. So giving a son to God, then you give a daughters to God, and that was a thing of the Arabs before Revelation. لا إله إلا الله 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 محمد رسول الله لا إله إلا 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 الله محمد رسول الله لا إله إلا 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 الله محمد رسول الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله 
إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله لا إله إلا 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 الله محمد رسول الله لا إله إلا 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 الله محمد رسول الله لا إله إلا 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 الله محمد رسول الله لا إله إلا 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 الله محمد رسول الله لا إله إلا 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 الله محمد رسول الله لا إله إلا 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 الله محمد رسول الله لا إله 
إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله